everyone, it's Misha. Happy Monday. I hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, I am really looking forward to this week to come and go because um, Max has just two more days of exams this week. I think he has four in total, but they, I think he has two on one day and two on another day. And after that, we can relax and breathe. Although the results are not going to be um, given till end of August, so we still have that to wait for. But uh, Mike's been doing okay, and thank you all for um, good luck wishes for him. Uh, he's, um, I don't know, he's quite relaxed about it. Uh, he's not very nervous, you know, he just. I don't know, but he's a quite, you know, clever boy, he's a, a student, so we're hoping for really good results. Okay, so today I don't have that much to show you or talk about. I mainly wanted to pop in because I've just realised it's like just over three weeks before I come to New York, so I thought I'd better announce the details of the meetup. So, I found a few hotels around and I found one sort of in, I suppose, central Manhattan where we can meet. So, the meetup is going to happen on Saturday the 9th of July um, between 4pm and 6pm, your New York time. Um, and uh, we will meet in a lobby of uh, the W Hotel in Le Lexington Avenue. I will put um, the address and everything in the description box. But it looks like a nice, funky, modern hotel and we could meet up in a lobby. And I think they have like a few different lounges that you can go sit down, have a cocktail or whatever. And I thought that would be nice that we can sit down, take some photos, have a chat, you know. I just thought it would be much better than standing somewhere in a street. Um, especially, I hear it's quite a hot time in New York in July. By the way, please keep me updated on the weather. So, like, I'm, I'm flying out on a 6th which is Wednesday. So like a few days before that, please up, update me on, on the weather, you know, what's the forecast for, the, for that week, because I really don't know what clothes to bring. Um, you know, when you're in the UK, and if I was going somewhere for a week in the UK, I would take every possible item of clothing for every possibility of weather. I would I would take shorts and a vest and I would take a jumper and wellies. So um, obviously I don't want to take all that with me to New York. Um, I don't want to take much at all really. Um, so I need to know what the weather is like and I'm not happy about it because I hear that it gets very hot and very humid and I like warm weather, 25 degrees is just enough for me centigrade that is I don't know know it in Fahrenheit but anything above that and humidity kills me I just I'm in a bad mood then I had been hot and sweaty and bothered so yes if you could please up, keep me updated on the weather um, yes yeah, so I'm really really looking forward to it I know a few of you are coming also, I don't know if you want to put in a description um, in the comments if you are coming so under this video so I can sort of count how many people will be coming. Um, I am very um, excited about it, I'm very nervous about it as well. Um, you know, it, it is not something that happens uh, to me every day. But Angie will be there as well, hot and flashy, uh, because um, as a lot of you know, um, I've known Angie. Angie is my internet friend, you know, YouTube friend, uh, really from the beginning, because we started our YouTube channels like within days of each other, and we somehow found each other and started talking, and um, she helped me a lot with... Um, techie side of YouTube because I had no clue 
Um, so yeah, and um, as you know, she calls me um, her little sis and I call, call her big sister. Um, I've spoken to her since on the phone, so yeah, that's gonna be very exciting. Also, I hear from Melissa55 channel that her and Kristen uh, might drive down to New York to meet me too. You know, I've met Melissa in London uh, last month. Uh, so yeah, that would be just amazing. So the meetup will be just for a couple of hours. You know, uh, believe me, I would love to spend like a day or two with you all and go shopping and do all the fun things. But you have to understand, this is my family uh, vacation. We have loads of things to plan. This is my first time in New York. In fact, all of us, um, Paul and, and Max, we, we have never been to New York. So obviously there is so much to see. Um, and we, we are there only for one week, so it is not that much time really. So I, I can't spend lots of time with you. Um, but yeah, I would definitely not come to New York and not see any of you if you want to see me. Now you're really enjoying this makeup that I'm wearing today. I've been wearing it. You will probably see it in my other videos. This has been like my everyday makeup. I really like it. Please don't ask me what I'm wearing because I think I will do a video again, you know, like I did one last month, I think. Like my favorites get ready with me that I do full face from the beginning to end what, I've, what I have enjoyed. And this will be it basically because as much as I love doing all these different I looks I really every day I go more for a simple look you know so I will do a video like this and I might still do in this video my curly hair because you have just seen I think it was the Charlotte Tilbury's legendary brow review and I had my hair curled there to be honest I curl my hair um, like I don't know, on a second or third day when my hair doesn't look so good, you know, just straight. Like, this is not very good today already. Um, but it looks even nicer on fresh hair. So if I wash my hair and just blow dry it, not too much, but you know, blow dry it just to give a body and then I curl it, it looks really pretty. And I, every time, especially lately when I have the curly hair people say tutorial 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 and I have done so many well not so many but I have two or three uh, tutorials how I curl my hair um, and my own hair and with extensions and I refer people to that playlist but I suppose I don't think that there might be new subscribers who haven't seen those videos and they want to see it. And also I looked back at that video where I curled my own hair. My hair was so much shorter then, so uh, maybe I do it again. I just don't want it to be boring, you know, because if you've seen me curling my hair once, why do you want to see it again? But when I do this favorite, I probably will do the hair as well. So it'll be again like a long video of my full look with my favorite products. Well, so what about the scandal with Jaclyn Hill and Becca, the latest palette? Um, I was so disappointed at first that that wasn't available in, in the UK. But now I am quite glad because if it was, I probably would have bought it. Because of, of course, the face palette with the highlighters and blushes is beautiful and it's all good with that, but it was the eye palette that actually Becca recalled now. Uh, there was a lot of issues with quality. I actually found out about them recalling it um, last night, but a few days back or a week ago, I found a um, video of someone that is not that huge, um, I was just searching for the reviews of, of Jaclyn Hill Becca collaboration and um, I was horrified because uh, this girl really, really, really loves all the Becca shadows um, and she's amazed by the quality, they have 
totally different ingredients in it than any other company. They are made in US, I think. Um, they are cruelty free and all that. And she said when she bought the Jaclyn Hill eye palette, she was horrified that she said the quality of eyeshadows was terrible. Uh, it felt nothing like the normal Becca eyeshadows. So what she did, she was delving in and she went on Sephora's site, found the um, ingredients for those eyeshadows and she put them into Google, those ingredients, and what came up with exactly the same ingredients were eyeshadow palettes that you can get in Ulta, I think, from Essence, which were just $8. And the formulation and the ingredients were exactly the same like that Becca palette. Further to that, on the back, it said it was made in China. So that explained to her everything why this palette wasn't so good. Now, since then, Jacqueline Hill apparently went on to uh, Snapchat. I don't follow her on Snapchat, so I didn't see it, but I heard other people saying about it, saying how sorry she is that, that actually she only created, was involved in one eyeshadow in that palette that... Um, something toast the really shimmery one um there was collaboration with becca but obviously she had nothing to do with with where they were made how they were made she also said that becca came to her um with this palette last minute uh, originally they're supposed to be just the face palette so it had to be really rushed the making of it and all that stuff and she was horrified and she was apologizing because obviously She's quite influential, she's big here, and she had her name on something that wasn't very good and cost a lot of money, that's the worst thing. And I feel sorry for her a bit, you know, uh, but let's say she didn't know, she didn't expect this formula to be so bad. But then on the other hand, you know, when she was reviewing her own stuff, showing us all the stuff, she was raving about it. And if you notice, obviously this stuff has been sent to lots of YouTubers, big YouTubers, you know, to create high branded. And they all loved it. They both said it was amazing. Apart from a couple actually big YouTubers that were quite honest about it and they said it wasn't all there. So... It's a bit, it's a bit disheartening for me because we watch these big YouTubers, I do, and you trust them because you think they try so many things, you know, because they get so many things sent, they must tell the truth. But to me, it almost seems like they all just bigging each other up and supporting each other, which is fine. And it must be difficult. I can understand it must be difficult, like if, Say I was, um, but I still wouldn't do it, you know. If I knew Jacqueline Hill, if they sent me the stuff and I thought it was horrible, I would just contact them and say, you know, I can't really say good things about it. This is not good. Um, instead of, if I didn't want to, you know, say bad things about it on, on camera, I'd rather not say anything at all. So it's a very difficult situation, but I am quite disgusted by it because obviously even if Jacqueline Hill didn't know that, Becca knew that they made it in China, that they rushed it through. So how can they justify still charging the same money for this palette as they charge for the original palette? So apparently if you have this palette, you can easily return it and be done with it. I think that's been pulled out. It's not gonna be sold anymore. But on the other hand, there is nothing wrong with the face palette. It's the usual formula and everything of all the other Becca products. So, I don't know, make, make it what you want. I don't have many Becca um, products and I actually, we can get Becca here on, um, <clears throat> on QVC, but they always have very small choice of stuff and 
online we can get it as well i think on cold beauty or something like that again there isn't every product on there and i hear people raving about the blushes i would like to try the champagne pop i can get it here but you know i'd rather see it in person and then make my decision so um yeah i'm glad this all came out before i bought this palette i have only two things from becca and uh, my latest one was the um, uh, backlight priming filter and it is very nice product i'm wearing it today under my foundation but like i said before you know i don't really see the point of the of primers unless you have very problematic skin and say you are very oily you might want to use like a mattifying primer that will you know keep the oil at, at bay but other than that you know i've i've used makeup since i was i don't know 16 and i never used primaries those days and i lived so i don't really it is a nice product and i feel it's supposed to give you this luminous look but if you cover it with medium to full coverage foundation you're not going to see it through i don't believe that so i am going to use it because it is a nice product but i don't really see the point of it but one thing that i've had for a while is the original uh, becca palette ombre nudes and i love this thing i actually forgot all about it i haven't used it in a long time but i've done some looks with it it's such a it's all matte palette it's such easy palette to use because you know you go from the lightest to the darkest and um, for every day i mean you can do evening look as well because they are quite dark i would say this palette is more on a not cool side but more neutral leaning towards cool the reason many warm eyeshadows here they they are more um neutral so you know you've got everything you need and the quality is really really good of those eyeshadows so i will definitely be checking out some becca stuff when i'm in new york um okay last time when i was here was it last monday and i told you about the milani foundation that i bought i forgot to show you some other things that i bought and um, i bought some lipsticks because i've had a lip milani lipstick before and i really liked it again it's very hard to choose online and i got three lipsticks that i sort of looked at swatches and i thought i would like them i have the pretty natural which is number 43 let's watch them for you they smell very, very strong. Oh, it's almost trying to be like a vanilla bar with a bit of a chemical smell, I would say. I'm sure my other lipstick doesn't smell that bad. So this one is pretty like a neutral pink. And all these lipsticks are very glossy, almost have pearly finish, which I didn't realize. Then Rose Femme, which is number 42. This one is probably the least, least um, pearly, I would say. It's just very shimmery. And that's a really nice color. Um, I might wear this one. Because, by the way, I'm not that crazy about the colors. And then Dolce Caramello. And it looked, you know, quite nice, light and nude. But it is not really. And this one is quite pearly. This one is definitely pearly. And they are nice colors. But this, I don't feel, suits me at all. This one is okay. Because this one is along the side of... Um, Ofra Pasadena that I really like it's very similar color and that is too pearly for me so I'm not really that taken by those lipsticks um, and then I wanted to try the matte lip cream so the lip cream creams what are they called yes they are called Amore matte lip cream uh, so I got one in adorable which i thought oh that'd be nice it's nice and light nude and it is 
very nice color you have to remember that with the matte lipsticks when you apply it and it's so glossy they appear lighter as they dry down they are darker so this is quite nice color i like this one and smell of those is gorgeous it's like caramel i think gorgeous smell it doesn't stay or linger on for a long time but i love this and this one is called loved and this one is um, not my favorite at all although yeah it's a bit too i don't know i can't describe colors if you like it it's like a <sighs> i don't know how would you describe it this is not red definitely not red um it's a rusty rose I don't know but out of the two I definitely prefer this one it's a cool color and now how they feel they are quite comfortable actually you know they go on very creamy very similar to the Ofra I would say that they feel a bit when they dry they feel a bit more drier than Ofra uh, but very very good quality for matte lip um, matte liquid lipstick you know I've tried some others they were so awful that I just couldn't stand having them on my lips for longer than a minute but these are worth trying and obviously they are not that expensive yeah I quite like this adorable shall I put it on let's put it on I know I've got lipstick on so it's not going to be the same So if you see when I put it on, it's quite light. Oh, the smell of it. I want to eat it. Oh, I'm tickling myself. See, it's, it's a very nice nude colour. Let's wait for it to dry. I think it even dries when you put it on the top of... Um, on the top of the lipstick so if you want it to be more comfortable you can put it on the top of the lipstick and it still dries quite matte it is obviously not very like staining because look I've just taken it off no problem with the wipe so it's not like some of the liquid lipsticks that quite stain your your lips yeah I think this one exaggerates exaggerates the lines a bit more than Ofra. You have to remember that with matte lipsticks, you can't say that any of them are wonderful, creamy and comfortable. It is dry formula. So if you're not into that, you like your satin creamy lipsticks, you won't like any of them. Even if I tell you that this one is the best, if you don't like that feeling, you won't like it. Yeah this is definitely drier i mean look how it dried even though i put it on the lips on the top of the lipstick and you can definitely feel it on your lips so you know i'm not that into matte liquid lipsticks that's why i haven't tried that many but i really really like the offer offer to me is very comfortable comfortable the difference i would say how to explain it almost like this feels heavier that i i know i have it on my lips whereas with ofra at first you you know you have it on your lips and then you completely forget about it it's much lighter formula if if that makes sense so no i wouldn't buy any more of these i'm not that into my lipsticks i have those three ofra ones and i like those and that will be me done. I don't know why the hell I keep going and trying more um, when I know that I really like those. Why look for something else if you're happy with something you already have? Keep telling myself that all the time. Okay, I wanted to show you a couple of pairs of shoes that I bought because I've been lately, you know those, when I, in my lookbook, I, I had these, um, were they River Island? Yeah, River Island, those rose gold heels with the, um, like, tie around the ankles. I, they are so comfortable, and I've realised that 
tying things around your ankle, your, I don't know, the shoe becomes more comfortable, you feel almost more secure in it, like your ankle is more supported, I don't know how to explain it, but I prefer it that so much more than just a little strap around the ankle. So I was looking for some more and I love these. So these are from Miss KG and I bought them in size 5 which is 38 US 8. Um, I love the mixture of colours, I don't know if you can see but it's almost like a, a burnt orange and fuchsia pink and these are burnt orange and these little tassely things have two colours in them. Now these come up really... Um, they are quite slim fitting and for me that's good because I've got really skinny feet that's about the only thing that is skinny about me <laughs> is my feet and I usually have a problem with with shoes because they usually are too wide for me especially the strappy ones I mean the amount of shoes like that I try and the strap is so loose on me that there is nothing holding my foot in that shoe the these are very slim fitting, even for me, because my left foot is a bit bigger than my right one. I would say the left one is very, very snug. So if you have wide feet, this would not be good for you. Now, I will try to find them, but I think they've sold out now. Um, you might find them on some other websites, but I'm sure they've sold out of, of this one. So I really, really love them. Um, I think they will look so great, you know, with that uh, pink uh, blazer that I have. Uh, so that was this. And then I just bought another pair of shoes from Aldo and it's very similar idea. And I really wanted that color because I have few tops that have that color in it. Look at those. They are gorgeous. And they have quite a long, um, you know, lace. So you can go up your leg or you can just wrap it a few times around near your ankle. You don't have to go up your leg. But I also loved the size of the heel because it's, it's not as high as this one. So I think this one is the standard 10 centimeters, which is what, four, four inches. Yeah, I think this one is probably three inches. And for me, that's an ideal, ideal um, heel height. I can walk in those, but I couldn't go shopping or walking around. These are shoes that you get in a taxi, sit down in a restaurant, get back in a taxi. In these I can walk and they are very comf comfortable and normally with those you know they call them barely their sandals where they just have this one strap. If you have just strap around your ankle I don't feel that secure in it, I don't feel but with this when I tie it around my ankle I really really love it and the colour is beautiful and I have some tops um, they have that color in so I thought they would look really good also I think uh, they sold out because when I bought these they had other colors they had like a very nude one and I can't remember the other one so when these came and I tried them and I really liked them again these are size 5 which is Europe 38 US 8 um, they are quite, they are not, they are true to size, I would say. So I went back because I thought they are so comfy, I like them, maybe I get the nude ones as well. And these were sold out. And I don't know if it was because the day I bought it, it was on like a promotion. I think I got them 50% off. I can't even remember how much that made it. I can see the price on here. And they are called Ma uh, Marilyn. Marilyn Blue. Anyway, I just love, love these shoes and the colour is divine. Yes, yeah, so I'm looking at this lipstick as it dries. It definitely emphasises the lines. So, for young girls, they have lovely plump 
not wrinkly lips, it would be okay, but definitely still prefer Opera. O Opera? <laughs> yes. Ofra. But as liquid lipsticks, what I have from what I have tried, these are quite good. So I'm not bashing it. I think they are good. It's just not for me. Okay, let me tell you what I've got this week for you. I have what I did, you know, all this palava with Charlotte Tilbury's legendary mascara. I actually filmed a video like a comparison between that mascara and my favorite mascara, which is three times cheaper um, and I did one eye with that one, one with that one um, so that was quite interesting experiment for myself as well so that will be coming this week um, and I really have to do this video about eyelashes I'm so sorry but so many of you asked me to do a video about false eyelashes for beginners um, and I will do it it's just the finding time because I can't just sit here, I, I need to film at different angle the way I clean my lashes and stuff like that which then means moving all my equipment so by, I will do it I promise, I might go and film it today. Anyway that's it for today, remember to let me know if you're coming to New York to meet me and update me with the weather um, and that's it really. So I will go now because I don't know what I'm talking about myself anymore. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful week and I see you soon. Bye. Um, okay, that's what you told me to do, so that's what I'm doing.